Divine Truth Assistance Group. These group assistance sessions are about putting principles of divine truth into action. This discussion is part of the 2014 Australia Group 1 series. Jesus gives personal truth to Deidre Amos and Carmel Pate. Filmed on the 17th of July 2014 in Monterey, New South Wales, Australia. Okay. Well, the reason why I've invited Carmel and Deidre to be with me today is because you're at what I would classify as the very first stage of an awareness of something. And, um, and I'd like to talk about it. Now, both of you raised issue of personal physical pain. So both, so both of you have personal physical pains that are sometimes quite unbearable, is the way you feel. And uh, I'd like to talk to you about personal physical pain. Right. Personal physical pain is the first indication that, or, or well, I would probably say it's the last indication, actually, that we are in complete denial. And we want to be in complete denial. Because there's, a, there's the denial of the emotion, and the denial of the emotion itself causes the physical pain in our body in the location where the emotion is denied. And then when we deny the pain, we then seek alternatives to sol solutions for the pain. And can I talk to you about your alternative solutions that you have to avoid your pain? Yes, you can. Can I? <laughs> How about you? Are you these the box? <laughs> you know most of them. What, what, are, what are the methods you use to avoid your own pain? You know much thought? Both of you? Far away, did you? Um, well, to avoid uh, emotional pain. Not I'll, emotional pain. I'm talking about your physical, physical pain. pain. Um, I will... Well, I used to take Panadol, but, I'll, but now I go to a chiropractor. Okay, so you go to some person <laughs> yes. uh, to get adjusted, corrected, yep. or whatever. And, uh, and can you see in a lot of ways that's also basically saying that you're not responsible for the creation of your own physical pain? And I want someone else to take it away. Correct. That's the projection coming out of you. Yep. Do you, and, and most of the chiropractors, are they men or women that you go to? Uh, the chiropractor's a man, the acupuncturist is a man, but the physio's a woman. Okay. But she doesn't want to treat frozen shoulders. Oh, of course she doesn't, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the men want to treat you, yeah. but the women don't seem to want to treat you. Isn't that very interesting? If we come across to Carmel, what, what do you do generally? Um, my pain's in my legs when Phil massages me. So Phil, you get a man to massage it out of you. Yes. Yeah. Can you see the addiction that both of you have? You, you externally project your pain onto other people, in particular men, and those men are there to make your pain go away, to help you go through your pain. And they need to share in your pain. They need to help you overcome your pain. Now, can you see there's the layer of denial of your own emotional addiction that creates the pain, then there's the layer of denial of the pain, which causes you to want to go and get a man to solve the problem of your pain for you. Yeah. Now, do you think you're ever going to get to the emotion that drives all this while all that's going on? Well, I need Phil to actually create the pain. You need Phil to create the pain? Well, when he massages... Why do you need Phil to create the pain? Well, that's... Well, the pain wouldn't be there otherwise. So you're saying without him massaging your foot, the pain wouldn't be there? No. So why do you even get him to massage your foot then? Because it helps emotions come up. So you're now making him responsible for the emotions to come up? Yes, I guess so. So, so either way, you're still using the man to make you do something. And the fact is there is pain there that you're denying and you're suppressing it so much because otherwise if somebody touches you and all of a sudden you're in pain, mm. um, it means that the pain's already there, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So it's already being denied. In fact, it's being denied so much that you can't even feel it unless a man comes along and touches it for you. That's right. Yeah. Can you see what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. so, so this is something that most people don't understand about pain. Pain is our own creation. 
We are directly responsible for the creation of our pain. We are directly responsible by denying an emotion. And when we deny an emotion, we create the pain. And then after the pain has been created, we do most of the time what you ladies have been doing, and that is we go and get the pain solved by someone else. And that's also denial as well. That's not honouring the fact that we ourselves created the pain and we ourselves are really responsible. So what we're trying to do is involve another person in the solution when we're the one who's actually totally responsible. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, so this is the thing you need to see about your pain, that your pain is your choice to deny an emotion. It's the result of your choice to deny an emotion. Does that make sense to both of you? And, it, and both of you find it very difficult to see that. That's why you want somebody else to be involved in the solution. You see, you see I do have pain myself. I don't involve other people in the solution of my pain. Even Mary, most of the time, knows nothing about any of my pain. Nothing at all. I don't even talk to her about my pain. I don't even complain about my pain. Mary has a joke that we often, that she recently says, we, I went to a, uh, to a restaurant with her and on top of, she gave me leftovers of her dish and I didn't realise that on the top of the leftovers was a, a chilli. And I ate the chilli whole, like choo-chooed away, and then I realised, whoa, that's pretty hot, right? And Mary didn't even know that it had happened, right? Because I didn't even complain about it, huh? And I just go, oh. She said, what's wrong? I said, that was a bit hot. Was there chilli on there? <laughs> like, so, so this is the thing, when you truly own your own pain, you will not involve another person with it because you know that your own pain is actually what you purposefully created to avoid an emotion. If you really honoured that, you would not involve ever another person in your pain. Does that make sense? Yeah. And for both of you, you don't honour that. What you are doing is you're actually, you're not seeing that thing. You're not seeing that that's the reason for your pain. Mm. All right. Now, calm, well, you get pretty resistive now, so you just got to calm down with that resistance. <laughs> this is, a person who finishes up creating pain in their body, whatever the pain is, we've got to at some stage honour the fact that we have personally created it. And all of God's laws are trying to show us that we are the personal creators of that pain. And now I'm not talking about when somebody comes along and bops you in the nose, although there is law of attraction events involved in those particular uh, attractions, but I'm talking about the personal pain that occurs in your own body, whether it's chronic or whether it's, what's the other word I keep forgetting? Chronic or acute, whether it's straight away, immediate, or it's long-term suffering. Both of it is the direct result of the suppression of the emotion. The, the issue you ladies are having, and most people have with pain, is they do not see that they are the personal creators of it. They believe there's some magical thing that happened that God did or the universe did or someone else did or something wrong with the body that's outside of their own control that causes this pain, and that is not the case. The pain is the directly caused by your own choice. And you've got to start seeing that before you can change it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Because I actually didn't go to the chiropractor last time. I wanted to challenge myself. So actually the last, but it's only been yeah. one. I decided, no, I'm not going to die. I'll just see what happens. <laughs> yes. But, but did you get to the next stage, which is seeing that the pain was a direct result of your denial of some emotional pain? That's where I'm resisting. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And so most of, us, most of us, even once we start to acknowledge that maybe the pain is self-caused, yeah. we never get to the, under, the underlying acknowledgement, which is, I have caused it by denying an emotion. So this yeah. is one thing that God's trying to teach you, that every time you're in pain, it's because you chose to deny an emotion. Right? Mm -hmm. And once we start getting to that awareness of that acknowledgement then we can actually go through the emotional reason why what the emotional thing that we're trying to deny does it make sense yeah so so for the majority of us what we do is we deny the emotion 
We create the pain and then we go and get somebody else to help us out with the pain. And, and even if they help us out with the pain, we pray to God, please help us with this pain, uh, you know, and all of these kind of things. But God's going, well, hang on a sec, I can't help you with the pain <laughs> that you have chosen to create by the denial of an emotion. Mm. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. And, so, and so while you might have some reliance on God with your pain in terms of relying on God to help you through the pain itself, the reality is if you were truly relying on God, you'd go, hang on a sec, this is just something that God's telling me to show me that actually I'm in denial of an emotion and that's creating my pain. So the denial of the emotion must be pretty intense, right? Mm. So that's the thing to start with. There must be something here that I'm intensely denying in order to, you know, to create a pain. So, yeah. Does that make sense to the both of you? Now, we could discuss where your pains are, but that's a different discussion. I would first like to see if it was me discussing something with you, to, that you actually are open to the concept, that emotionally open to the concept, that it's an emotional choice that you've made to deny the emotion that's created the pain. Because unless you know that, it's impossible to discuss the emotion that created the pain. Does that yeah. make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. How are you going with that? Yeah. I feel hot, so I must be settling my body. I just feel like hot. So I'm not quite sure what that means, but... I... Usually heat is anger, okay, okay, or shame. shame. So it's one of those two things. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not angry at you. I don't believe I am. Yeah. And I believe you'd tell me if I was. Uh, but, yeah, shame that it's, it's hard to come to terms that I've done this to myself. It's Well, this is the, the funny choice. thing about pain, isn't yeah. it? We, we, we almost want to blame something else for it don't we, if you think about it, you want it to be something external or something, you know, something's gone wrong with my body. What's wrong with my body? It's packing up. Like, whose fault's that? It's got to be the doctor's fault. Like, he's the one that gives me the pills to sort out my body, you know, like, or it's got to be something else other than my denial of an emotion. But the way God made you is that your body is attached to your soul. Like, it's a direct mm. reflection of what's going on in your soul. So it's very important that we come to understand that what goes on in your body is the direct result of your soul choice. That's what's going on in the body. And mm. this is something that we need to understand before we can change. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, you get that. Yeah. 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 So that's good. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk to you about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Could you give me the microphone? That's fine. <laughs>